Hello and welcome to Inspired to Inspire. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and join the family. Today I want to discuss about uh, the businesses that one can venture in, uh, some side hustles that you can actually engage in right now, even with the corona lockdown and uh, the COVID situation in the country. And number one, one of the booming industries as we speak right now is uh, e-learning or what is called um, online uh, learning. Right now our children are at home, the schools are closed. Some of them from the private schools are able to access uh, online teaching. But we have such a huge percentage that have not been able to access uh, online teaching. And this is an area where if you have some expertise in a certain uh, subject, there are opportunities for you to be able to teach through the social media platforms, be it Instagram, be it Facebook, be it YouTube. The opportunities are there. You just need to sell your skills and especially the teachers who have uh, contacts of their students. They can easily do this in form of uh, tutorials and discuss with the parents and agree on uh, how they are going to be paid, be it uh, per session or per month. Uh, number two is uh, agriculture. People, especially in the urban centers like Nairobi, have been locked down. So you'll find most of the food comes from uh, uh, up country. You can actually go and get the food or the fruits or the potatoes or be it maize. Whatever you choose to sell, you can go get it. Then come and do boot sale in Nairobi or just sell it wholesale to other re people who will sell uh, uh, on retail. So that's, that's big business. You just have to make sure... When you're picking what you're selling, make sure it's not perishable. Unless you have a market, uh, you know, a hot market where you know your products are in high demand. So select something that uh, you, you can keep for a week or two or a month, like uh, onions, garlic, potatoes, oranges, you know. It's not something that will perish overnight. So that's an area where if you want to start a hustle, you can start. Go get it for yourself. If you're not able to go and get it for yourself, just uh, hook up with people who are doing wholesale. Then you can look for a strategic place to do boot sale. Number three, with many people being at home, uh, there's an opportunity of doing a home delivery service. You can buy a motorbike or two and start a company of doing uh, home delivery. Not just uh, fast food, but also vegetables, shopping. You can opt to be doing shopping for people. Go and buy stuff that they need from the supermarkets, from the markets, um, uh, whether it's fast food, and deliver and charge a fee. Charge a fee for fuel and for labor and just some markup for yourself. And you will find, if you market it and you do a good job, you'll be able to get uh, uh, some profit from it. You'll be able to make a living. Number four, the other service that is on high demand now that people are at home is home entertainment. The other day I was just thinking, uh, people are not going to the parks. People are not taking kids to go and do some bouncing castles and, and swimming in public places. So these kids will still need to play. And I see uh, a new normal, especially in uh, this industry, where if it's children, you will need to buy for them like some smaller bouncing castles that you can set up in your compound or in your backyard or in your balcony. You know, and this is uh, a new opportunity for for somebody to venture in uh, smaller bouncing castles, some slides, especially if you have uh, a, a compound, some smaller swimming pools where you can just put it in your balcony and you put some warm water in. There you have a jacuzzi, especially for people who cannot be able to avoid the to afford the the jacuzzis. You can do the smaller pools for your children. So there is a huge, huge, huge opportunity. And I think it's going to move from the macro where you have uh, huge crowds gathering to, to do bouncing castles and stuff like that to um, more micro 
uh, approach where you have uh, smaller pools, you have smaller skids, you have smaller things that can actually be able to be owned by uh, a family. So this is a business opportunity right here. If you need to uh, look for a hassle, you can venture into one of these areas. If you're a designer and uh, you are good in uh, playing with uh, colors and uh, arranging things, you can venture into home makeover business. It's a it's big business, especially now that uh, people are always at home. And you know, you stay in the house and you start uh, realizing that uh, you need another blinder, you need another seat, you need uh, to change uh, uh, the carpet and due to the fact that we are spending a lot of time in the house for sure you just need to you just need the environment to be conducive so that you also feel you know you don't feel dull you feel happy in the same space and for most people the homes are now becoming their offices so you need to improve the ambience of the house in terms of uh, the color the look and and uh, a home makeover is a solution especially for for most people especially the social influencers social media influencers their homes are becoming like their offices thank you very much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and see you in my next video